All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bateman Gaming. We are here, finally. It's here, at last. Elden Ring. <clears throat> and I am super, super stoked. Sorry about the wait at the beginning of the stream. As always, you know, I got to do the shares and set up all the tags and stuff. I haven't figured out how to do all that before I start streaming. But I will eventually. Not right now, though. Right now, we're going to play this. Then we're going to jump into this Elden Ring. Oh, yes. I am probably going to get my ass handed to me. <clears throat> All right. Welcome to Online Multiplayer World of Elden Ring. The game allows you to connect online to experience a variety of elements that enrich the single-player experience. In order to play online, your console must be connected to the Internet. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I got all that shit. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't be an asshole to anybody. I've played plenty of online games. So I know how not to be offensive. I actually don't even really, really plan on playing this online. Oh, that's your system. Oh, let's look at this. Tiger, toggle, auto lock on. Yes. We're just going to, we're probably going to leave all this, all this default. I just want to look through it. <clears throat> Real quick, you guys. They definitely want blood on. HDR, why would I not want the HDR on? Yeah, I want HDR on. Controls. Oh, I'm sure they're going to do a quick little walkthrough of the controls, but they might not, so... Uh, skill... Guard, attack, <clears throat> the right hand's here, a strong attack, event, action, examine, open, use item, back step, dodge, roll, dash, jump, move camera, change target, reset camera, lock on, remove target, sorcery, switch left hand, switch right hand, switch item, oh, that is tight, you can switch the stuff in your left and right hand, like, at will, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's the same. Okay, new game. We're going into it. Oh, it's asking me to check all this stuff anyway. I didn't realize it was going to do this, you guys. <clears throat> okay, here is where we got to pick character this is this is important here uh, prophet samurai damn you guys y'all I mean if, if any of y'all know me you know I probably gotta play the samurai job but let's look at the rest of them I definitely want to want to do a playthrough with Wretch because that looks like it's probably the hardest fucking one but not on the first playthrough oh you can show statuses oh, okay Cool, cool. <clears throat> oh, the wretch starts at level one. I see. And everything is just base. No bonus, no negatives. I see. Mm -hmm. That's a samurai. Vigor is good. Mind is decent. Endurance is good. Strength is good. Dexterity is good. Arcane faith and intelligence is move. Probably not a magic user there. Probably not a magic user. That kind of sucks. Damn bandit. Mm, I think faith is probably how much how much magic you have. Dude, yeah, I'm definitely rolling the samurai first playthrough. Let me see. Sword, shield. Longbow, it looks like, and then whatever that little symbol there is that every single one of them has at the end. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Confessor. Hmm, I don't want to be, I guess I'll be a male.
just entering my name. I don't know if it's showing y'all the keypad where I'm entering my name and all that jazz. It's not. Age young, samurai, keepsake. Well, yeah, we're going to pick a keepsake. No keepsake. The past has been well and truly left behind. Oh, shit. Increases max hit points. People to lands used to gain many ruins. I don't know what ruins are. Uh, Golden Seal lost to shore from lands between. Said to reinforce sacred flasks. Oh, that could be very, very freaking useful. Ashes of small diminutive golems. Ashes are said to hold spirits within. A container for certain thrown items. Can only be used once. Said to originate from the demigod Macrilla. Five pieces of boiled prawn. Boost physical damage negation. Um. God, you know. The so hit points are the flask one, probably. Because I know the flasks you use to, like, heal yourself. And to, uh, like, stamina potions and MP, MP flask or whatever. So, gold seed. We're going to go with this one. Increase a little extra hit points at the very beginning. Can't be bad. Can't be a bad thing. Look how pasty white that dude is. Oh, he's a northerner, that's why. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah, we're just going to do this one here. We're stick with the base one. Uh, detailed appearance. could alter the face and the hair really I mean he already looks all right like no reasons are there's a lot of stuff you can change here alter the body wow dude you can change everything he's ripped son we're just gonna do standard on this character I'm sure I'll do more than one character on this game uh, <clears throat> okay, let's finish. Let's get into it. Let's get started. <sighs> oh, hell yeah, y'all. About to do this shit. I'm excited. I'm excited. Always breaking my shit. That's why we can't have nice things. Across the fog, the lands between. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Maricus offspring claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. A war 
leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Othmir, the all knowing. Well, I don't know about y'all, but just this opening, this game already feels fucking epic as shit. Home grace would again bless. Oh, snap. Is this me? A tarnished of, A tarnished no, of no renown. Yet. Why the fucking samurai Must armor, dude? To the lands between. I'm gonna do it. And become the Elden Lord. Hell yeah, I am all about that. I even named my character Lord Bateman. We're gonna become the Elden Lord. Alright, um. Okay. Read message. Praise the Elven. Appraisals 9,999. What the hell? What button do I push for the good? Ready to go to close. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I had to. I saw the samurai class, and I was like, well, I mean, I gotta do that. Oh, I guess the bloodstain shows me there, huh? the same message okay it's also the same message it's like a dream ah Elden Ring I wonder if this is shit that like other people have left because I know I was reading an article that said that like uh, I think I think people will be able to like leave messages that other people can see in their world or something. Through the path be broken, though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Pillage remains. Tarnished, wizened finger. Well, hell yeah. I don't know what that's all about. So I guess this game is not going to give you like an opening tutorial and tell you anything. They're just like, figure that shit out. The inventory, you can browse the items you carry, drop them on the ground, or throw them away. You can also use tools from your inventory menu. Square, show large image and explanation, toggle character data, okay? This is Memory of Grace. Last site of Lost Grace visited. Oh, okay, that's like a respawn thing, maybe. What is this? Used to write messages to other worlds. Yes, that is exactly what that is that's what these messages are these these are like people have left these 
They're gonna arc your ass. Good luck, don't die. <laughs> Potty mouth, yeah, man. Yeah, dude. So that's cool. That is freaking cool. You can leave messages for other people's worlds. Hold on, I gotta use this. Hold on. That was the map. Okay, well that's the map. Got nothing unlocked there. Inventory, let's do this. Let's see. Okay, use. With the message menu, you can write messages that players in other worlds can read at the spot where you left them. You can change the message format to leave more complex messages and also attach gestures to your message. You can rate other players' messages. Whenever another player rates a message that you've written, your HP will be replenished. That's kind of cool. Okay. Praise the things. This is kind of cool. I thought I was going to be able to like take type myself. I got you. Boom, look at that. I just left a message that other people can read in their worlds. That that could actually come in handy later. Like there may be things that may be interesting enough to take. Okay, let's see that. Are you ready? Oh, I love that. Good job, man. That's a good one. Applaud this message. Okay. Um, Let's do this. I am almost certainly going to die the first time I have to fight something, but we'll see. Game is beautiful. I'm just going to appraise everyone. Touch the blood stain, touch the blood stain, okay, move this way. Don't fall down, don't fall down. Okay, I'm not gonna check every single message. Okay. Jumping's a little weird. I get the feel for it though. Oh, there's a bunch of fucking people left messages everywhere. I had to make sure there was nothing back there though. You, you, you gotta understand. Dude, this game is absolutely gorgeous. It feels epic. Like, just, just take a second. Take a moment to look. Like, it is so magnificent. Oh, yeah, of course. First thing. First thing. That's not good. That's not good. 
Look on target. Ooh, ooh. Do I have anything to heal myself with? Holy shit. Oh, and I'm dead. Just like that. Just like that. I'm dead. Very first boss. Like a bitch. I actually knew that was going to happen, though. Like, I, I knew it. I knew they were just going to throw you in and be like, hey, here's a big guy. Figure it out. I don't think I have any healing potions or anything. Oh, you get the cartoon now? <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So I'm dead here. Mmm, so dead. So dead. Am I going to get up? Get the fuck back up, bro. Come on, we got shit to do. <clears throat> Can't be dead yet. Is it a unicorn? Please let it be a unicorn. It's just a horse. Oh, no, no. It's got a horn. Maybe it's got two Don't of them. Worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. I mean, I don't feel like fortune is on my side, but you did find me here, so. I feel like I just got raped by a giant monster. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. I'm looking for it already. Listen, rules are made to be broken. I don't follow rules. I just do whatever. I suggest you do the same. My God, I can see the the freaking fibers in the threading of the 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 freaking cloth on the helmet, dude. Like it's insane. It's insane. So I think that was supposed to happen. I think that boss is pretty much unbeatable at the very beginning like that. I think you're supposed to die and come to this cutscene here. Flask of Crimson Tears. Oh, I got three flasks of Crimson Tears and a flask of Curion Tears. Uh, yeah, I want to read the damn message. Why is it always death? Oh, I love that message. Uh, good fortune is leaving him to die in the river. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, there's got to be a way to use those from this screen, though. <sighs> oh, record, record that, well, that one stores hit points. How do I use it? Like, you can't tell me I gotta pause it to use it. I know there's gotta be a way. Oh, hell yeah, that's my sword. Um, um, the equipment menu, you can equip armaments, arrows, bolts, armor, talismans, and items. You can equip them with three armaments, each to your left hand and right hand. The actions each armaments perform will vary based on which hand it is held in. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. We're just gonna roll with what we got there. I got the talisman. Okay, so those are there for the consumable slot. Okay, okay. That switches it, so which button uses that? Well, we're going to have to look real quick, because I can't be accidentally using that shit. Uh, use item is square, okay. Cool. That's that's all I needed to know. Hey, how's it going? I died like a bitch. What about you? Nothing to say, huh? Brave Tarnish, take the plunge. I mean, let's check this door at least first before we go jumping down this giant pit. How about that, bro? No shit! I just accidentally wasted one of those health potions. That really, really sucks. 
Oh, God. By the way, good luck. Oh, I love that. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm probably going to need it. Open this. It does open. So now I kind of wonder what's down there in that pit. Hold on, let me go back. Brave warrior, take the plunge. What's this? Alright, well. I mean, let's go ahead and do it. Let's see what's down here. A whole bunch of that really hurt. Oh, and now it's like, oh, use one of those items that you just accidentally used. No, I'm good on that, bro. I'm good on that. I'm going to hold out using that item because I accidentally used it already. Resting at a site of grace will restore your hit points and FP and cleanse any status element. It will also refill your sacred flasks. However, most of your enemies you've defeated will be revived. You can find sites of grace by going where light converges. These explanations are acquired in the form of info items and can be accessed from the inventory at any time. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, increase amount of rain. I look at flash charges. What does this mean? Now we're good on that. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to add a damn charge to the flask so I got more. Oh, not enough golden seeds. Okay. There's a spell. With the memorized spell menu, you can memorize sorceries and incantations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consume FP. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. You can increase your memory slots by attaining a memory stone. Alright, well... You gotta have a staff for sorceries, a sacred something or other for incantations. I don't have any that I can learn right now anyway. Sort of chest. With this menu, you can place items that you're carrying into a chest for storage and take stored items out of the chest. If you're already carrying the maximum number of items when you pick up a new item, it will be stored in the chest automatically. Well, that's freaking sweet. Okay, so... Well, you can carry a bunch of shit. Alright. Now, did that save it? That didn't save it, did it? I guess it auto-saves? Status menu, check your level, attributes, base stats, and more. The information shown here also reflects changes to your attack, defense, and resistance bestowed by armaments and armaments and the armor that you have equipped. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Alright, runes are going to be my experience, because I need 811 to level, and I have zero. Uh, sweet. Sweet. All right, now I don't know. strength base. Oh, that's not what I gotta have to use it. Okay, okay. Onward. I'm just trying to get the hang of it all, so I don't die miserably like scum again. Harry. R1. A two handed armor match. Oh, I killed that guy bad. Right away. Okay, that was easy. Where 
I should use a damn sword too, man. Then. Let me see if I can do that. No, it's a one-handed sword that just switches hands. Well, it's good to know. Is gonna really suck to have to use. Oh, you know what? I probably should have uh, tar uh, auto locked on target. Use an arm in your left hands or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield. Guarding consumes some stamina. If your stamina runs out, your stance will be broken. All right. I was trying to parry him. So it does have a little thing where it's like giving you like a little walkthrough in the beginning, I guess. Dodge. You can avoid any attacks by dodging back to rolling. Both these consume stamina. Right, give me that gold stuff. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's good. Give me everything. Each hand can be equipped with the three armaments, allowing you to toggle between them. Armaments can also be two-handed, making attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boosting effects by 50%. Alright, let's see what we got here. You're just gonna be an asshole, huh? Oh, I can block with that too. See how you just died like that? Yes. Excellent. I like that better. Like that little shield. Screw that little shield. I can block with this. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, I still take damage when I block with the sword. More than when I would block with the shield. These guys just put message in. Didn't expect a message. Could this be an item, but message. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny, though. Unsheath. Alright, equip a bow to fire weapons. You can equip up to two arrows at once, two types of arrows at once. Wielding the bow, hold L1 for precision aiming. R1 for. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Dude, 
shot me with an arrow. Well, it's got the little parry thing where it says parry. It hasn't taught me how to do the parry yet. It's probably where you just block right at the last second or something. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consume FP. Okay. this thing doesn't do nothing like that's what it does hmm. uh, yeah. okay. I and yes I see that my health is very very low Crouch to make it harder for enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. Second enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage to them. Uh, okay, sweet, sweet. I don't know how I miss with that. No idea. Use a little bit of FP. How did I use what? What did I do that used FP though? Very nice. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charged attacks and jump attacks may be particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Okay, okay. the sounds too like yeah this is like teaching me how to do this I still don't understand why it says parry there to the left all the time and then like it has not even told me how to parry yet upon dying you'll be revived to the last site of grace that you visited however if there is the stake of Marika near where you died you can choose to be revived there instead well that's pretty sweet I don't have to do nothing or nothing something. See, it says Perry still. sense oh traverse the mist I didn't see that thing there when I was there before okay we're traversing the mist oh great there's a guy yeah we're gonna go ahead and drink this you can form a counter attack immediately after blocking an enemy guard counters make it easy to break an enemy's stance Fucking in attack, guard counter, okay. Oh, he straight up, there was no block in that. Oh, 
I was pushing the wrong button to block. That's why he hit me those first couple times like that. I was pushing uh, L2, and it's actually L1. So, wasn't that hard, though. This is my kind of place here. I like this. This place is nice. And it takes us, this is where I thought it was going to take us, right back up here. Pillage remains. Strength plus one. Oh, that was totally worth it, dude. Did that really put my strength plus one? Where's my strength? That's 12, I think it did. Hold on, let me see. Does I have an item? Oh, I have an item. Yep, I really did. Okay, cool. I still never learned how to parry. What if that's a, where you attack right before they attack? <clears throat> experience to level looks like I don't have enough experience to do nothing or it would say something to me I suppose I don't know have any stone sword key that was one of the items you could start with the medallion I think the medallion for the extra hit points which I'm super glad I did because I still don't hardly have any damn hit points use tarnished pearl finger to write a gold summon sign appropriate multiplayer will begin once you have summoned been summoned by a player from another world you would take the role Take the role for any ally, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. It comes to the top of the screen to illustrate the direction of the summoner. Well, I'm good on that. I don't want to use that. How am I going to try the lever when you put the message right on top of it? It wasn't even the lever after all. It was never the lever. Just a heads up to you guys, like I know this game was made by FromSoft, and uh, I know the people that did the, uh, the the Dark Souls game made this. I never played a Dark Souls game. I know they're tremendously hard. I watched my little brother all feel nominal. Oh no, I accidentally used it. God damn it. Uh, all feel nominal too over there on Twitch. I watched him stream Bloodborne, but I never played a Dark Souls game. It looked hard. God, I gotta, I gotta not push that. I accidentally using that flask, man. Ooh, it's pretty out here. Cave of knowledge. Cave of tutorial. What is this? This must be where I'm at. Okay.
Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain the, that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your path. It is beautiful. Okay, so I see how it's going that way over there. So, use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at Stellas along the road. You can also use the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Uh, it's telling me where to go. The first step. Cool, cool. Fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. I don't need no damn invitation. I go where I want. I do what I want, whatever, whatever. Slash these things. Nope, I'm not slashing those things. What's up, birds? Don't fly away, I walked all over. Oh my god, look at this view. Oh, look at the golden tree. This game is freaking epic. It's telling me to go that way. So I kind of want to go this way. Can't go that way. Wow, dude. What is that? Oh, look at this glowing skull here. Can I pick that up? I can't even pick that up. That's nothing. There's literally a glowing skull. Whose eyes are lit up with light, and I can't pick that up. That's nothing. That's just there for decoration. That, that's kind of cool. Dude, this game is fucking amazing. Just pieces of something. Or someone. Pieces of someone. What's this? In each area, you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, you all know I ain't probably summoning no other players, though. I'm, I'm kind of a solo guy. Maybe if somebody I knew had this. Yeah, I want to rest here so I can refill my shit. Rest. And that should refill all my flasks. It does. What does that do? I'm literally going to have to look that up. This is touching the blood stain. This is Harry. That doesn't make no sense. Hmm. Make no damn sense, y'all. Oh, I could chop that up. That's cool. Look, there's a guy up on a horse. Kind of looks like he's going to be an asshole. Oh no, this is bad.
Oh, that, that's not good. Oh my god. Oh, he's, he's like a boss. Oh yeah, he beat the shit out of me. He, he murdered me. Like, I don't think I need to be fighting him just yet. Holy shit. Upon dying, you will be revived to the last site of grace that you visit. You will drop any ruins in your possession at the site of death. If you die again before reclaiming those ruins, they will be lost forever. If it comes to the top of the screen, it indicates the direction of the lost ruins. Well, I ain't trying to lose my damn ruins. So, uh, I guess I gotta, gotta sneak creep over here and pick these ruins up. Let me wait for that guy to turn around and walk the other way. And then I'll kind of sneak over around him. Because I ain't fighting that son of a bitch just yet. Ark told you. <laughs> oh, you know, in the month of March, Ark is going to be one of the PlayStation 4 uh, Plus games, free Plus games. I am not ready for the Rex, no. Yes, I got my Lost Ruins. I'm happy about that. Let's just creep over here. See if I can murder this thing. No, it's going to run away. It's going to roll away. That that was crazy. Oh my god, I did murder it. There's any pillages of corpse. I got some bones or something. That's cool. I wonder if I got experience for that. Can I get experience for murdering these guys? Yeah, I think I got some experience. Thin beast bones. I'll take all the experience I can get. So we're going to level up by murdering uh, sheep goat things. Goats. Goats have horns, I think, don't they? And yeah, we are definitely going like around, around that dude. I mean, look at that fucking tree. God, that's so epic. Look at that. Oh, look, some more goats. Do not be alarmed. I am here for inspection. Hmm, it seems the two of you did not pass inspection. Ooh, I got a beast liver, hell yeah. Don't run away. Don't make me chase you. Give me that sweet, sweet experience, damn it. I should have somebody kill this bird, too. Don't fall off to- Oh, I was gonna search your corpse! You son of a bitch. Probably should be wasting my arrows, but I'm curious. Can I get the arrow back? That's a good question, too. Does not appear I get the arrow back. Still, like almost 200 away from being able to get the next level. I guess I need to go over here. I have way past it. Way, way past it. I wonder if I need to fight that guy and be there. Ain't no way I can beat that guy right now, dude. Oh yeah, I want to acquire materials. 
In every corner of the land between, you will find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for crafting items. Well, hell yeah, I'm going to take that fruit. I don't know nothing about it. We're going to take it. We're going to see what it does. What did it do? Glow and skull, no big deal. It's just decoration. Alright, I'm going the right way. Hold on. Either I'm supposed to come here, which it does not look like it. It looks like I'm supposed to fight that guy. Like, it looks like that's what that thing of light is pointing to. Gold ruin times two. I don't know what the hell that is or what that does. Church of Ella. Throughout your map, you can instantly travel to any sites of grace that you've discovered. However, there are some dungeons in other areas where this cannot be done. Well, that's pretty sweet. Fast travel's nice when it's a huge map, and I hear it's a huge map. Ooh, what's going on here? Strengthen armaments. At the smithing table, you can spend ruins and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. Mmm, that is sexy. I like that. You can shrink your armaments up to plus three at the smithing table. So I'm going to okay. I mean, do I? I definitely don't want to spend any ruins right now because I want to get that level ten. <clears throat> what is this? Well, hello, kind sir. It's very nice that you have not attacked me yet. I'm happy about that. Sweet. Purveyor of fine goods. Kale. Let's see what you got, bro. And it also uses experience as money. That is weird as shit. Allows viewer to see far away things. That could come in handy. Throwing daggers. Furl calling finger remedy. Reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs. Did you bring a cookie for C? Yeah, dude, he did kind of look like he was dressed up like Santa. I didn't want to say nothing, but yeah. Ugh. Nomadic Warriors co Oh, expands crafting repertoire. That's cool. Cracked pot. Craft enables the practice of item crafting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get that. <clears throat> Freaking torches, 200? It's a torch, bro! Note, imparting knowledge in brief. Alright, so this is really cool. I'm sure I don't, I don't even know. Used to gain a small number of ruins. Oh, okay. No, I'm not going to sell that. Probably not going to sell those either. Just curious at this point. I am of a nomadic people. Let's ask about him. Customer. 
you know, if you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. I like this guy, man. This guy's straight up. He's just like, I admit, I, I make money off of it, but it's worth it. And he's right. That probably will be the very first thing I buy will be this crafting kit for 300. But I want to get enough experience to level first. I want to hit level 10 because I start at level 9 with this class. And, and I, I pretty much guarantee you guys, I am absolutely going to play this with more than just one class. Like, I got to try out the other classes. Like, I have to. All right, where does this tell me to go? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, going the right way. This world is massive, though. We can just kind of explore around a little bit. Like, really, we can do whatever we want. Ooh, flowers. Why does it say parry there? What is that? That's... That's got to be what the special move is, is to parry. It's got to, like, if you do that right before you, the attack lands or something like that, it'll probably, like, parry it away. Mm -mm, I guess... I guess we really are just relegated. 634 how much do these sheep give me like am I really gonna have to run around and kill these freaking sheep Six hundred and thirty-nine. Oh, the sheep only give me a tiny tiny bit of fucking experience y'all. Oh my god Like five five experience five runes for killing the sheep Okay, the little fruit of little red things. I'm trying to learn what the shit looks like. So I can be on the lookout for it without just like constantly trying to run through these things. Murder, 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 murder. Oh. Hello, sir. Are you... You are not friendly, are you? Oh, but I bet you give me some experience, you son of a bitch. Oh, you don't even have anything I can take from you? Yeah, he did give me some experience, so I need to find another one of those guys. He was kind of a bitch. Oh, there's another one right here. Well, hey, feller. Hey, how's it going? Let's test this this thing I think about about parrying. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I don't think that negates all the damage. I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. So what we're gonna do is creep right up behind him and murder him all nice and quiet like yeah see he actually's got something we can pillage off of him too some bolts we'll take those we'll, we'll take those as well all right sweet sweet bust that shit up too
There's a deer. Don't run away. I want to murder you. Oh, there's a turtle. There we go. Turtleneck meat! You know, turtles can actually be quite parasitic, so if you're ever in a situation where you have to eat turtle meat to survive, cook that shit well done, son! Well done. I'm just saying. That's an interesting, interesting little tidbit, little fact, factoid there. What is that? God, that bug just attacked me, I'm pretty damn sure. Oh, I just stuck my sword in that thing's butthole, I think. Yep, that bug is totally attacking me. Oh, these bugs are gonna kill me. These bugs are gonna freaking kill me. Oh my god, you're absolutely right about that, though. Like, how many times has Bugs killed your ass in Ark? Great dragonfly head. Dude, there ain't no way. Well, hell yeah. I mean, where am I even going? I reckon up this road to that thing? I'm, honestly, I'm just ex ex enjoying exploring the world. Like, the world is so awesome, and I'm kind of trying to get used to the game and stuff, and... See, something I'm doing is using FP, too. Using magic. I don't know what it is. To pay more damn attention to that. Maybe it's when I'm using the sword. It can be when I'm using the sword two-handed. That's stupid. Maybe it was when I was trying to do the special move with the shield. I don't know. I do not know. We'll figure it out eventually, though. There's plenty of time to play this. Oh, do, do, do. Do, do, do. Trina's Lily. I will take that. Yes, thank you very much, Trina's Lily. Hello, dear. Goodbye, dear. Sliver of meat.
Oh, there's a guy. I wonder if that boar is aggressive. No, he's not. Oh, that sweet, sweet death. Give me that damn experience. I had enough experience to level now, y'all. But I gotta be at one of those things. Those points of grace. Root resin. You know what you do with root resin, right? this rune fragment I will take it another one you're a son of a bitch thought you were running away apparently you just like to pretend like you run away and then you're all like oh let me attack you like a dick you ain't even got nothing for me to loot either what a dick materials used for crafting uh, used to gain a small amount of runes I will use this 400 oh yeah I'm be able to level up now and probably get the damn crafting thing soon See, I have no intention of just blowing through this game. Like, I am going to enjoy this world. It's beautiful. It's supposed to be really large. I'm going to enjoy the shit out of it. There are both Crimson and Kurlian Teardrops Scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flasks that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. Okay, well, that's cool. Definitely good to know. Where am I at on the map? Okay, I'm still a ways from where I need to be. Definitely some guys I can kill over there, though, and that is the road. Oh, but there's so much more over here that I haven't seen yet, though. Like, this map is pretty damn big. And in case y'all were wondering, yes, I do get a spectral horse I can call and ride on, so when I'm moving around, I'm not just running all fucking slow all the time like this. But I, I think you have to be level 10 to unlock it, and I'm not level 10. I'm level 9. What was that? Leave no material behind. Oh, look, there's a bunch of guys back here. Well, listen, this is just experience. Oh, yeah, we got some full life. Still curious if me trying to do the parry thing was what was. Oh, look at this! You can use bird's eye telescopes found in various areas to get a bird's eye view of the terrain in the direction that the telescope is facing. That's actually super cool, dude. 
We're definitely going back down this road. Oh, that's this is the wrong road. We need to go this way. Yeah, we need to go this way. At least we need to go this way first. Oh, what is over here? Oh, this is the next point of grace. Oh, well, this is pretty damn cool. Dude, this is so epic. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid. She's the one that levels me up. You need only take me with you to the foot of the earth tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral Steed Whistle. Freaking sweet. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Level up. Yes. With level up and you can spin runes to increase your attributes. With each attribute increase, your level rises by one. As your level rises, so does the amount of runes required for the next attribute level. Okay, so that's how it works. Vigor is oh well it shows me what's gonna make what it's gonna make go up though at least. Golly, I really, really don't know what to, uh, what to level up. I wonder what that discovery is. I 
mean, you might as well go ahead and get a little more health right now. You always need more health. Ooh. Special speed whistle, spectral steed whistle to summon and ride your spectral steed. If the spectral steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost one flask of crimson tears to do so. You could dismount by using the whistle again or by pressing the blob the uh, L3. Oh, it's in the pouch. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. You can equip six items to your pouches. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. And now I have a horse. Oh, dude, that horse looks so cool, too. It's got horns. I mean, it's not a unicorn, but it's kind of better because, you know, it's got two horns. Anguishing an enemy group will replenish your flask. The number and types of flasks will be replenished berries. Depending on the enemy group, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. Of course. Now, the important question is, can I search these guys if they had something to search while I was on the horse? Because that shit's kind of important. Okay, well, where does it say to go next? Oh, well, I was still heading towards that. I just happened upon that one while I was heading towards that. Oh, yes, I can. Hold on. Yes, that is awesome. Some pillars here. through here. Oh, hey, feller. I see you see me. Oh, there's a bunch of fellers. That dude's got a big-ass hammer there. Is that a damn wolf? That is indeed a damn wolf. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, that sucks. What the hell, dude? Oh, 
Oh, now why is it not letting me put the sword in both hands? Hold on. There we go, there we go, okay. Oh, well, this sucks, this sucks! It's okay. It's okay. I kind of got murdered there for a minute. This game is definitely going to be challenging. I'm kind of kind of excited about it. Oh, uh, I lost all all those runes are over there though. I got to pick them up without dying again. Um, I really wanted to see if I could right here. Discovery. Governor's likelihood of finding items on corpses of defeated foes. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know if I want to go putting fucking points into that shit, but it's pretty nice to know. Oh, look at this. Okay. True governor's hit points also affects fire resistance and immunity. Governor's FP. Governor's stamina also affects robustness. This attribute also determines how heavy your equipment can be. Attribute required to wield heavy armaments. Also boosts attack power of strength scaling armaments and it affects your physical defense. Wield advanced armaments. Also boosts attack power of dexterity scaling armaments. Reduce castings times of spells. Softens fall damage and makes it harder to be knocked off your horse. Uh, requires attribute required to perform glintstone sorceries also boost magic power of intelligence skilling sorceries and improve magic resistance i have no sorceries so faith required for sacred incantations also boost magic power and faith skilling incantations uh governor's discovery also affects holy defense vitality and certain sorceries and incantations okay see yeah uh, I, was, I was curious about that shit Okay. So now we gotta we gotta go over here and get our damn health back. Or our our shit back. Sweet, all right. Oh, they all freaking respawned. I guess that's not a super bad thing. I tried to dodge, but it did too late. I'm trying to work on getting my time. I know a lot of, about this, this games like these are timing. And I'm just trying to work on getting my timing down, to be honest. But also, if these guys respawn after I use that grace thing, then I can totally level up right here a little bit and get some damn crafting thing. Come on, then. Come on, then. Lump of flesh, I'll take it. Front. Oh, there's that guy. Oh. Come on, you gotta come come farther away. 
Come right here where there's all these other bodies. He's a little quicker with that than you'd think he's going to be. The way he, he rears back, it seems like he's going to take longer, but he thrusts forward quick with that thing. Just got to get the timing right on it. All right, let's murder some more guys here. Getting a whole bunch of that ruins, that damn experience. Just going straight through here. You guys are all bitches. I don't care. I should be careful. Pillage the corpse. I've yet to find anything in any of these things you bust, but I'm certain you can find things in things you bust. I would love to be able to sneak up on that asshole and not have to fight him straight up. Oh, he is tough as shit. He is tough as shit. Oh, he is really tough. Come on then, bitch. I don't never use this damn shield. It doesn't block 100%. Why would you why would you use the shield? Oh, dude. Get that three attack, you don't see that? And he got me. He myrtleized the shit out of me there. Myrtleized the shit out of me there. It's a great spot to like uh, just dick around and get some experience and try to uh, get the hang of the, the fighting mechanics and everything. And look, they all respawn again. So we're going to run right back over here, and we're going to level up again. Damn, dexterity is really high on this, starting off on this character. I bet this character doesn't use any kind of magic whatsoever. Like, I picked a, I picked a class that doesn't even use magic at all for my first playthrough. That's, that's kind of funny. I don't roll with it anyway. I don't give a shit. Sweet. Okay, so do, 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 do. Oh, that does not pause the game. When I do that, it's so it's still this is the only thing that pauses the game. So nothing will attack me, I suppose. I still might get attacked. Maybe. It'll probably be alright. It'll probably be alright. You'd think that... No, well, it's still... You're still like... like It doesn't actually pause the game. It just takes you into the menu. Well, dang it. Okay, well, you know... I gotta step away for just a couple minutes, you guys. But I'll be right back, and, uh, you know, if I die, at least I can pick my experience up right here next to the thing. Because um, <laughs> there's no way to pause this. It doesn't pause. Crazy, huh? 
All right, I'll be right back.
right, and I'm back. Sorry about that. You know, I'm old. I got to get up and move around sometimes. Oh, okay. Let's go get some more ruins. Let's, uh, I got to work out. I got I to gotta work out my different moves. Like, I got to, I got to, I got to get a better grasp on the fighting. Okay, okay, that was a parry. That actually worked there. Okay, sweet, sweet. What's this faster? Come on there, asshole. Come on. I'm out of stamina, that's why. That didn't work. Okay, so is it the L2? Or the L1 with the right timing that does the parry? Can't even remember which which button I was using. Damn it! I gotta figure that out though because I can't always be dodging. Like it's good to dodge. It's good to be able to do all of it. I gotta be able to do all of it good. Let's try this asshole over here that killed me last time. Wait, hello! Come on then. Okay, okay. I think it's L two to do the parry. <laughs> he murdered the shit out of me. Oh my god. I'm gonna die so many times playing this. Guarantee y'all. I can get my damn experience back. I mean, what's kind of funny is I've yet to even kill, you know, like, I, I've yet to even kill that guy. I've only killed a couple of them before I die. Every time. Let's go over this way. Let's creep over here. Okay, so I think the parry is L2, but you got to time it right. Let me see if I can sneak up on this guy and jack him from behind. That would be sweet. Doesn't see me, doesn't see me. Yes! Oh, it's way easier to do that than to actually fight. Like, you should, I should just try to do that with everybody. I'm trying to sneak up behind them. Sneaky, sneaky. Which is crazy, because I never be sneaking around in games if I, unless I have to. But, like, this game here, man, I feel like, you know, it's beneficial. Very beneficial, you know? Give me that Smith and Stone. Hell yeah, that's weapon upgrades right there. Oh, there's something in here? Fucking sweet. What is it? A flail? I'll take that. Let me see. Attribute scaling, strength, and dexterity. Okay, that's definitely good for me because I got a lot of dexterity. Let's see this flail, though. Oh, I got a war pick, too? It's actually less damage and shit. Can't, can't even use the flail. My dexterity's not high enough. But, you know, I bet I can sell those for money. Well, not money, but... I guess, I guess money, but money is the same thing as experience in this game for runes. We'll just call them runes, because that's what they call them in this game, runes. Runes! Alright, so, I'd really like to sneak up on that guy, but whatever, it's fine. Damn 
Definitely L2. Just gotta have the timing right. Give me that sweet, sweet experience. I'll probably never call it runes. I'll, I'll always call it experience. Currency, it's currency. You use the currency to actually level in this is what it is, but it's currency. Hello, sir. I see you have a dog. I knew he was coming. I tried to dodge. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for me. Take those bolts. Even though I don't have a crossbow. Well, hello there, dickbag. I remember you. Yeah, you're going to have to uh, be a little quicker on that draw back there, sir. You telegraphed that too much. I'm slowly getting the hang of this. Well, hey, feller. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that parian is the way to go. Hell, yeah. dog. It's a big ass dog too. That's a wolf is what that is. That's not a dog. Damn, there is a lot of guys up in here. He drew back a little quicker on that one. I don't know why you can break all this stuff if there's nothing in it. There's got to be something in some of the stuff. I guess the ghosts, little little transparent ghost looking things walking around and doing stuff are like other, other players and things they've done through here or something. It's got to be what that is, which is actually really cool. Dick. Oh no, there was. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna have to do a lot of creeping around to get that damn that back before I die again. Holy shit. That was not a good spot to die. That was not a good spot to die. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way up over here. gonna fight who I have to fight to get that back because if I die again I lose those 1400 ruins that I had and they're gone forever and screw that that sounds shitty come on then feller just me and you I did not expect that that You go to hell, sir. All right, we're gonna run in, get the experience, and then back back out real quick. Gonna creep. We're actually not gonna run. Creep up over here. Oh yeah. Ooh, that was scary. Oh, there's a lot of guys around here too. But it's cool because I'm really just kind of getting getting the hang of the the battle mechanics trying to get the timing down on you know the fighting and stuff because that's going to be super 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 important in this plus you know i'm trying to get the experience because i need that oh he totally he didn't miss me i'm out of stamina that's why
Lord's Worn Bolts. Oh, there's a bunch of guys over there. Come on, then, feller. Now you falling for that trick again. Come on. You know you want it. Nope, nope. I know what y'all are trying to do. I see your game. Definitely, definitely going to need to be able to have more of those than three of those flasks. And I definitely, definitely need that shit to heal me for more. Dude, I could literally run around just at this one part here and level up a shitload. And I'm definitely going back to that trader and buying that crafting kit and some other stuff. Come on then, feller. Come on. Wow, that didn't even stop him when I hit him. Godric Soldier's Gauntlets. I'll take that, yeah. I've yet to actually beat this guy, I think. And I don't have any more healing flasks. Oh, if I hadn't done that second back up there. Oh, no, I had one more. Nope, nope, it's empty. Oh, that's a new move, too. He's got a good repertoire of attacks. Like, he doesn't just do a couple. He's got a bunch of them. I didn't try parrying him. He's got some harsh attacks. I don't know if I would be able to parry him. We're going to try to fight him first. can't fight him first so let's go back over here and let's let's level up say gate front ruins Yeah, that's where that dude was. The vendor. I want to go see the vendor. Well, hello there, vendor. How's it going, fella? This way tarnished. May I have a word? Absolutely. A pleasure to meet thee, tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth the spectral steed named Torrent. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee, by Torrent's former master. 
Spectral Calling Bell. Well, hell yeah, Lone Wolf Ashes. Hell yeah. That's it's awesome. Calling forth spirits. Summon them within. From ash and return to the earth tree. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past. Now it is thy to do it as thou wishest. With the spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You can not summon spirits during multiplayer. Well, isn't that freaking cool? Isn't she just precious too? I don't, I don't I don't even know what that means. But that was really, really cool. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's let me see. Uh Okay, I don't think it goes away when I use it. I mean, it's the only way to find out is if I use it and, and it I still have it, of course, but for the moment we're gonna go talk to this dude. Wait. Won't you well, you're back. Care to buy something? I do horrible Santa. Actually, let me see. Oh, he'll buy all this crap. Oh, he'll buy this too. I can't even use this. Causes blood loss build up. think I can use these bolts with my bow. I'll hold on to them for the moment anyway though just to be sure. It's got a better physical negation but way less resistances. Mm. Okay, cool, cool. Purchase, I definitely want this. those two that shield has got a way better physical damage negation and yeah you still parry with it strength is D Definitely want to expand my crafting repertoire. Cont container required for crafting cracked pot items. I kind of want to go ahead and get that telescope too. Can I compare this? I can't compare this. Oh, 
okay, okay. I see. Alright, cool, cool. I guess I'm just going to go and get the crafting recipes. For the moment. That shield's got to be better than the shield I have. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up too. Thank you. you have a crafting kit, you make various items for materials. Find select item craft from the main menu to make items. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. You will need cracked pots or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to make more of those items than you have containers. Container items will run out with use, but the containers themselves will run. Okay, cool. So you keep their containers. All right, well, let's... Do I need to use the books that I bought? Or does it automatically just... Yep, I gotta use them. No, I just have to have them on me. Okay. What can I craft? Bone darts. That's kind of cool. Well, that'll that'll repair my replenish the hit points of my horse. Bone arrows. Hell yeah. Oh, that's sweet. I can make my own freaking arrows. Hell yeah, dude. Awesome. Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, that's way better at everything except fire. And it's only a little bit less than fire. It's a little heavier. I don't care. Much better, much better. That'll actually negate 75% of my damage if I have to, uh, if I block with it. I'm actually going to sell you something. I'll sell you this crappy little shield here. And you'll buy it and be happy. Goodbye for now, sir. All right, so then we are going to go back here. And kill these guys some more. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 get some more experience. Do I need to put these in a slot? Do you need to put these on a slot just like that? And then if I do this, 
I can equip. Oh, okay, okay. That's how it throws them. Okay. Well, that did not help me much. All right, I can't parry that dude, I don't think. Or my timing wasn't fast enough or whatever. I tried and he hit me anyway. Oh, I'm pushing the fucking... I was pushing the wrong button. Yeah, he murdered the shit out of me. Oh no. I don't think I ever touched that site that I warped to. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. Because it was the last one I was at. Okay, cool. Kill these guys over here we're gonna continue to practice on oh let me yeah let me call forth these wolves you yeah, think about that have some of that asshole Do I have to equip the bell? Is that how it is? Oh, it was so close. I tried to dodge, but it was too late. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm going to die so much playing this game. I kind of don't care, though, because it's, it's so cool. It is really cool. I like the way it's set up. Uh, it's definitely going to be challenging. Right, let me see this here. No, no. Okay, maybe I can't. I couldn't call them at that time. Holy bitches now. Yes! That's game changing right there. you bitch I used almost all my FP though to call him was totally worth it though Was absolutely worth it, you guys. Come on, then. 
Oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't let everybody know I'm here. Oh no, stamina. Dude, trying to sneak up behind me, y'all. Ooh, I'll take that. Whew, damn. <clears throat> Smoldering butterfly. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can open this chest again. <coughs> mm, excuse me. All right, let's see. Get some up here. Nope, it's already open. I guess everybody. I guess everybody did come running when they blew that horn. The thing about touching the blood stain is it's weird to me. Ugh. Oh, I got a map. That is awesome. So yeah, having these wolves makes all the damn difference in the world. All right, let's go back. Check out this equipment stuff here real quick. It's not as good. It's definitely not as good. Uh, I found some of these. It just lowers the focus and the vitality and the immunity by so much. That does not raise your stamina much. Holy shit.
Alright, so how much of the map have I actually got? No, I don't, not much of it. Not much of it at all. Oh, so these guys don't spawn back. Come forth! Uh, but this is like some bet there's something down there it's like a little mini dungeon there we're gonna check that out at some point we'll check that out That one wolf is almost dead. Yeah, blow your horn this time. Oh, it didn't matter. Not gonna murder me. Mm, I still gotta go back and buy the rest of that stuff from the vendor I wanted to get. Pick up these. everybody around here huh maybe maybe some more people over here That's pretty damn cool. Let's 
go see what's down here. I gotta check. We'll see. Oh, snap! Treasure chest! With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armament's new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armament's type determines what skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and can not be granted new ones. Oh, a whetstone knife? I didn't read what the whetstone knife did. Yeah! I was happy as hell about that chest. Uh, what did the whetstone knife do? About Sights of Grace. Oh, uh, this is just like, uh... All the stuff I've been through explaining shit to me. Alright, it's not equipment. There it is. Okay, what does it do? Can add new battle arts and affinities to weapons. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Let's still with Cypress, which made it look like a smile. Allows you to use Ashes of War and Side Grace to bestow new battle arts and affinities to armaments and skills. Okay. Sweet. Well, that was pretty freaking sweet. I'm definitely starting at the hang of this, I think. Wait. Weren't you... Well, you're back. Care to buy something? Yes. I need to buy everything. Uh, I definitely want this. Missionary's cookbook. I'm not even sure that I'll use that, but it might still might be nice to have. I guess this just tells me how to how to make these two things. So yeah, I want to go ahead and buy that. And I'll buy that. And I'll buy that. Sweet. Ashes of War Stormstop. Use one on all Malik. I don't even know I had that. Oh, that is cool. Not equipped, dude. It's a bolt. I'm not even you can't even use it. All right, freaking sweet. Journey, but 
thanks to that. Things are not so different for us now. Though the Elden Ring is shattered, I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the tarnished, and mine. Goodbye. Oh, with the Ashes of War menu, you can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to armaments at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill of the previous save will be lost. By adding an affinity, you can alter an armament's attack affinity, boost attribute scaling, and more. An armament's type determines what skills and affinities it can have. Blah, blah, blah. So armament is just weapons and shields. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do that with this. I'm going to hold on to that. Looks like we're supposed to go up over here. Probably supposed to go through those gates there. All right then. Let's see. Let's do. Um. Ba -ba 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 this. Okay. Okay. That definitely is using my FP. Now I probably don't have enough to call these guys. I don't. I'm oh, sorry. We'll go back over here. Do, 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 do. That'll refill my FP. I'm getting tired, you guys. I've been up since like, uh, I don't know, like 8 o'clock this morning. I had to work day shift this morning. Damn it. It's all about timing. Yeah, I'm getting tired. I'm probably going to get off here soon and go to bed, but I am going to stream all day tomorrow for sure. killed all my wolves. Uh. 
He murdered me. He murdered me mercilessly. Still almost kill me, damn. You definitely got to be careful in this game. I can't believe y'all didn't have my back on that. You just let that damn wolf attack me. Seeing I murdered that guy that he was calling a boss. That he murdered his boss. got me right there. Damn it. That's a shitty spot to lose my experience. I'm about to be careful to get that shit back. I don't want to lose that either. I had like 16, 1700. Which is probably isn't that much, but it's a lot to me right now, you know. Damn it, damn it, no, no.
Hell yeah. Whew. Come on then, fool. Come on. Come on, don't back away. Where are you going, buddy? Damn, that was stupid. I let him hit me a lot. It's all good, though. I got the sweet, sweet experience. Look at that, I got 3,000 sweet, sweet experience now. Oh, yeah. Is that everybody? That was everybody. Another one of those smithing stones, that's awesome. Be able to upgrade my fucking armor and weapons and shit soon. Got three of them now, I don't know how many I need. Ain't nothing in of those things. Oh yeah! Oh, you know what? I never even equipped this thing. Boom. And it's going up by a lot when I level now. Like, uh, you need a lot more for the next level. So it's like, I don't have to be smart about what I get, you know, like what I use it on. It's hardly, give, it doesn't give you that much hit, hit points. It doesn't give you that much that. Hardly gives you any stamina on a level. Woot woot, level 14. Uh, all right, you guys. I really appreciate y'all checking it out. Um, I would love to play more. Believe me, I really would. But uh, I'm really tired. Uh, I've already been up for way, way too long. Um, I'm going to be getting up at 8 in the morning and staying up until, you know, 2 a.m. and junk too much anymore. You know, at my age, I get tired. And I worked all day, so... But uh, you guys, you guys have a great night. I really appreciate you checking it out. As always, you know, if you like it, like it. If you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing lots of content on Elden Ring. I'm probably going to play through with multiple classes just because I want to try them all out. Um, oh, all right. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.